two beds, wonderful flat, loads of space, available furnished and unfurnished. When they say two bed, they mean this is bedroom one and the second bedroom's up here. I wonder if the furnished room's any better. Can we make it a rule that if you can't upload a photo, you can't be a landlord? Hello and welcome to Crap Flat Bingo. The premise is simple. I've gone out of my way to find the worst rentals you can get in a specific city and I'm checking them off against the top estate agent cliches. If you want to play along, you can get your bingo card in the description below. This week we're in Dubai, home to the Bush Khalifa, the Mall of Dubai, and for the right price, a Russian oligarch. Flat one, 800 pounds per month. I am looking for a female to share my apartment with. Not creepy at all, my guy. Not that I should have to point this out, but this flat was listed by a man. No woman in the history of mankind has ever said they're looking for a female to share their flat with. The flat isn't the issue here. It actually looks quite nice. It's the listing I've got an issue with, from the high girls in the title to this picture of a teddy bear. I see the vibe you're going for, dude. Portrait photos. When was this photo taken? Christmas or Valentine's Day? Oh, God, this is Tinder try-hard level cringe. Between the moody flower pic and the photo of the teddy bear, I can't work out if I'd be your next sex slave or your next murder victim. A murder probably took place here. Overpriced. Flat two, 760 pounds per month. Two to three people, max. Blurry photo. Overpriced. So where are the other two people gonna sleep in this prison cell? Recently decorated. Where? I mean, there's no mold on the walls. How low is my bar? A lie in the description. Air conditioner does work. I feel like there's a story behind this, like someone's questioned it before and now it's a real sore spot for them. Let's message and find out. Does the air conditioner work? Blurry photo. A murder probably took place here. Flat three, 900 pounds per month. Brand new executive bed space and partition available for rent. Executive bed. I guess it's not a race car, so technically it is for adults. Now like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join my subreddit before I run you over. A lie in the description. Super fast Wi-Fi included. Free Wi-Fi, up to 250 megabytes per second. No downtime. This is included in your rent. Great value. As much as I appreciate the offer, I don't like the idea that my landlord can turn off my Wi-Fi at will. This is a classic example of someone renting a room out to someone and hoping the person renting it spends the whole time on their phone and ignoring the fact that they are renting a prison cell. Over a murder probably took place here. Hang on, we've got a reply. Yes, why don't you believe me? I think it's because it feels too much like you're trying too hard to convince me that it's true. It's like if someone said, oh no, there are no bodies under the patio. My immediate response would be, but there are though aren't there? Flat four, 850 pounds per month. Bedroom, hall, kitchen, with balcony for rent, furnished. Are all those the same room? Look, I understand if English is your second language, but if you're running a business, punctuation is your friend, my dude. Well, this feels safe. I've heard of exposed brickwork, but is exposed pipe work a thing in Dubai? Fire hazard. Not cleaned before the photos were taken. Why is there a swing? This feels like one of those expectation versus reality Instagram memes. Flat five, 700 pounds per month. Flat is perfect for couples, single men or women. So everyone? Double bed with amazing views. Where? You're being a real tease with it. A lie in the description. The kitchen is new, brand new, state of the art. I don't believe that someone who clearly has access to the internet thinks this is a state of the art kitchen. Your Jedi mind tricks will not work on me. Fire hazard, flat six, 740 pounds per month. Newly renovated, beautiful double room. Uh... A lie in the description. Portrait photos, three rooms available. Maybe this one's best, nope. Loads of storage for all your things. I guess your target audience for a room like this isn't someone who's very materialistic. Third room is the biggest. Technically not a lie. With bed on mezzanine floor. That is not a mezzanine. Also, cool use of emojis. Very professional. 